Hi, everyone. Welcome to yet another Brummett's YouTube video. Uh, today, we're going to be ask, answering just a few more of your questions, uh, starting with Brian from the US, who asks, uh, what do you do when you're not working on your blog? Well, um, for those of you who have been watching our YouTube videos, you'll know that I've done quite a few uh, now discussing what uh, our blogs are about and how we use them. Now, um, so you're already aware that, you know, there's a lot of behind the scenes activities involved in the office and especially with the blog. I mean, in the office itself, there are, uh, you know, bookkeeping, there's record keeping, there's filing of receipts, there's answering emails and dealing with phone calls and doing follow-ups to various communications, uh, promoting various uh, projects and books that we have going on, uh, promoting the, the blogs themselves. There's networking that is happening constantly behind the scenes in, in running the office. Um, there's also things like, you know, cleaning the office and the home and the studio and the entrance area and the garage, which they walk through the garage and the workshops areas and into the foyer to the basement to the studio in the lower half of our home. And so all of those areas have to be kept clean and sterile in between students, you know, and uh, any anyone that comes through the office or their home, the place gets sterilized especially due to the pandemic that's been going on. Um, and so there's all of that going on. So when, when that is not happening and when I'm not writing and I'm not working on uh, the blogs, then I'm going to be found probably doing something in regards to maintaining the home life that we have, usually like cooking, menu planning, um, laundry, uh, lawn care, pet grooming, gardening, uh, you know, dealing with the harvest from the garden, the processing and stuff like that. Uh, but when we have time to, for just us, Dave and I, we really like to just spend time being leisure so we'll watch movies um in the winter a lot of movie watching uh playing with the dogs in the living room which you probably see behind me there on the couch um we also like really enjoy just going for strolls i have some problems with my knee and hip and back and so i can't always you know do do strolling go out for walks and that so we do tend to be a little bit um leisure around the home like we we do love to hang out on our deck our little deck uh the couple little sitting areas that we've created on our uh lot our property here in the gardening you know it's just a gardening paradise a little park that we've created and so we have these little sitting areas and we love to just hang out there and you know enjoy our, our homemade wine and enjoy our each other's company and just watch nature watch the birds butterflies bees really enjoy that kind of thing playing with the dogs um is is beautiful it we just really enjoy that. Um, when we are out, though, you know, walking those trails or, you know, strolling along the lake and or the beaches or something like that, uh, there's something that I always do, Dave and I always do, is we bring a bag with us, usually a bag each. And no, it's not just for, you know, picking up dog waste, <laughs> but also for when we're um, walking, we pick up any of the litter that we see. So the odd bottle cap or nail or piece of glass or candy wrapper or cigarette butts or piece of foam, styrofoam that the lake brought from, from something. We make sure that we pick all that up during our strolls and to us that is a way of giving back and making a difference for nature and wildlife but also when we come back I find that you know when we go out in those nature walks and stuff if we didn't do that I always come back with a sense of guilt that I didn't stop and pick it up so it's hard for me to turn off that part of myself and just 
just be in nature. If I see something like that, I'm like, oh, well, I better get busy and start cleaning this up. So, <laughs> so I end up taking a bag or two with me every time anyway. And I, it's sort of like a little goal that I try to fill the bag if I can. So um, I don't know. Anyway, that's what we do when we're not in the office. I hope that that answers your question. Brian from the US, thank you for that.